Hey, people. Injured here. 2v2. Medine Cliff Mines. Blue team. It's some chaos fellas, starting with a mysterious guy with just a line as a name. A chaos lord. A durable and destructive hero. More through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melees on Black Legion here. Alongside them, Zero Cry is a chaos sorcerer, offensive and destructive hero with powerful battle queen manipulation and control. Red team, it's a Dawn of War 2 legend, man of faith, as a hive tyrant, a durable hero, more through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support begins in melee with a basic synapse. You should be called Tex this guy, although I don't think they've used that name for many years now. Won many tournaments back in the day, been around forever, and I shall call you Manuel, this Hive Tyrant. Rounding off the teams, Headcrab, as a Lord General fighting in ranged combat begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers. This is Derek and Nigel. Can add to this retinue, has a lot of defense and support. Those CSM just walking out of cover and dropping a model. That was very strange play from Zero Cryot. Heretics now weighing in on some Hormagaunts who are trying to help out. Hormagaunts taking huge amounts of damage, being focused down here. And they are able to barely get away with a single model. Doombolts flies in on the Guardsman. Derek and Nigel both both fall here. They can get reinforced in the field. There we go. Derek's back. 2v1 against Headcrab. Sentinel gets the stomp. Those CSM are very low from Zero Cry. Derek dies again. Those CSM back off to cap something, I suppose. Big push through this side from the Chaos Lord and the Chaos Sorcerer, leaving Man of Faith to pretty much sweep through the south side, even get a decap on that natural power, and maybe even harass this natural wreck point. There's some CSM here, Hormagons don't want to mess with them. If they had adrenal glands, maybe they would. But the CSM were able to plant their feet from good range and start getting shots in. The other Hormagons of Man of Faith are trying to help through the mid here. Good stomp on those CSM gets rid of them. Chaos Lord needs to be careful not to feed him. Kill the weak. Got a decent hit, but does run away after. You can see that Man of Faith tried to pull out of it, but because Hormagons leap into combat like that, it can be difficult. Because they're already mid-leap, you can't really pull them back. Sentinel decaps the central VP. Chaos Raptors on the way now for the Chaos Lord, and it was double CSM for Zero Cry. The Hive Tyrant Manuel getting in amongst them with his big old claws. Not too worried about base turrets at the moment, but needs to be careful not to stick around too long. Getting quite low. There he goes. Off in retreat. Hormagaunts are going to look after this wreck point, maybe? Or are they looking for like a super flank around there? I don't think they can do that. They're just going to hang out and look after the wreck point. Meanwhile, in the mid, it's uncapped. Double Guardsman of Head crab want to go and shoot las guns at some chaos fellas instead of capping fair enough they can whittle down those heretics quite effectively with the las guns i think heretics have to flee and doom bolts and it's a really well aimed but it wasn't a full one didn't have the full amount of energy to chuck out a full doom bolts i suppose raptors think about capping much more fun to jump in there and start swiping stuff with your chainsaws. They have that pack off any effect when they land that suppresses enemies. Killing, uh, I think that was Nigel who went down. Just saw the medical sergeant pop up on the on the retinue there. Raptors are just taking shots here. I think they wanted to decap the power point, but it got noted. Ravna Brood on the field for Man of Faith. And here come the double Hormagaunts. Gonna get jumped and suppressed. Ravna Brood also burrow striking in. But the Raptors had a, a few seconds of knockback immunity there from the jump and weren't knocked over themselves. And Raveners get messed up by Heretics and a Chaos Lord and some CSM. And they dropped a model. There's the Hive Tyrant himself backing off now. Head Crab trying to take up a defensive position with Double Guardsman and that Sentinel. More Raveners on the way for Man of Faith. Tier 2 for Zero Cry. And the Chaos Lord got some late Chaos Space Marines out after the Raptors. Double CSM and Raptors is pretty solid. Can get messed up pretty badly by a Dreadnought or something. Not really a threat, of course, with Tyranids and Guardsmen, although Man of Faith could throw out a Tyrant Guard, maybe. 
but then that has its own risks because of, because of Mark of Zinch CSM. Flank here, maybe from Man of Faith. There's the jump. Borrow striking Raveners, they're gonna land there. Or rather, pop up there, I should say. A messy fight. Chaos typically do well in messy fights. Just a bunch of upfront damage and decent durability is typically what you want here. Don't really need much finesse a lot of the time, although the Chaos Sorcerer maybe does. Hive Tyrant trying to go after the Raptors. Gets one down. There's a heal on those Guardsmen. Passed out. Medical pack passed out by the Sergeant of the Retinue over there. Can they get another Raptor model? They can. Some good hitting there from that Hive Tyrant Manuel getting some XP on the board. Lots of pressure from Chaos though and Doom Bolts. And Zero Cry has a Blood Crusher on the way. And that's going to be huge, huge problems for the red team. They have no anti-vehicle. Headcrab is in tier 2. Could get a missile launcher here or some stormtroopers out. But a Blood Crusher, at least initially, should be able to do some good work here. Sentinel taking a bunch of damage. There's some repairs. They can't out-repair all of these CSM, but they're not all firing at the Sentinel at the moment. Here's the Lord General again. You see the Medical Sergeant there with the Chainsword. Not really very effective in combat himself, but can hand out those medical packs to all allies, not just your units. Can even give them to heroes, although they won't he heal a hero for that much. Down goes the Sentinel. Mark of Zinch CSM coming in with those Inferno Bolts, and they will rip apart a Sentinel's heavy armor. Mark of Corn CSM now for Zero Cry. Pressuring the power. Stormtroopers are indeed on the way for Headcrab. To try and counter this Blood Crusher, I imagine. This is a Blood Letter riding a Juggernaut. Heavy melee damage. Good mobility. Not the toughest thing around. But that's why it's got the mobility. Oh, Melter Guns for the Lord General too. And there's the Stormtroopers. They'll be looking to get the anti-armor kit. There it comes. It's kind of an anti-everything kit, but they do get a crack grenade or a melter bomb, which makes it anti-armor, I suppose, because melter guns will damage everything. Couldn't quite get the melter bomb off there, but they are now infiltrated and going after the blood crusher. Heretics without an aspiring champion, so they're not going to spot the stormtroopers, although I think maybe they got close enough there to spot them. Headcrab turning off the infiltration because they want enough energy to chuck the melter bomb, but I don't think they can catch it. 468 to 323. I hear raptors making noises. Where are they? Oh, I think they were jumping out of combat. Double adrenal glands, hormogaunt broods now. They're actually a big threat to the raptors. Even if they had the aspiring champion. Because it's not like they get merciless strike, they get a single target damage ability with the, with the aspiring champion. Endless swarm on the way too. They can reinforce more effectively. Also gives them some more health, doesn't it? It's been changed a few times in the swarm. Full power bash down there. Some good focused aggression from the Chaos fellows. They've they've punched through and they've got on the power with it. The turret keeps hitting objects here. Still hitting objects. This big fan is a problem. There we go. Blood Crusher. Yeah, it doesn't want to get close to this heavy turret. Down it goes. That was really sloppy from Zero Cry. Could have just kept that thing out of, out of range. Instead, we have some Chaos Space Marines with an aspiring champion and some Mark of Corn fellas too. They're now going to try and take out the turret in melee. It does have vehicle armor though, so it's not easy to do for those fellas. And Double Vormagaunt's coming in. One of them's quite damaged. Manuel fighting a Chaos Lord with Kill the Weak going off. Oh, lots of fire though. Is that a Dark Flames that came in there? <coughs> now have an Executioner turret. And these guys popping their slaughter, which means they can draw melee weapons. There we go. And down goes the turret eventually. Surprised the uh, Stormtroopers weren't helping out there. They were bashing the power instead. Doom Bolts. Those Raveners were in cover. So they didn't do a huge amount of damage. They still ran away, though. Mark of Corn CSM down to a couple of models having to run. Another kill for Manuel, the Hive Tyrant. 
Doesn't have a melee upgrade yet. Could be doing a lot of work with it because there's raptors around and the Mark of Corn CSM around. So just rending talons I think would be great for the added disruption. And of course crushing claws are available. Instead they've gone for a Tyrant Guard. Super heavy infantry armor, tons of hit points, some really powerful melee too. It is super vulnerable, well it can be vulnerable if it's left unsupported by Synapse though because it can get very slow. And Mark of Zinc CSM will do huge amounts of damage to its armor type, the super heavy infantry armor. Look at the damage already, that was a single squad of Mark of Zinc CSM. Almost got half the hit points off it in a few seconds. Ravener Brew trying to get in there. Ravener Brood wipe though. Ravener Brood can get a melee upgrade. It might be worth doing. Because the Raptors are messing them up there. Tyrant Guard needs to tie up the Marco Zinc CSM. Uses a charge. Oh, he's going to try and escape, is it? We now have a Venom Brood. Which is a bit of an odd choice. Although, it might be because they want Death Spitters up. And just haven't got round to getting it yet. Mark of Corn CSM for the Chaos Lord as well. 279 to 310. Red team still have the VP lead. They, they've had some trouble in the fights. But I guess the blue team have also lost some stuff. In fact, whatever, they've lost Heretics and they've lost the Blood Crusher, I guess. Power bashing from the Stormtroopers. Heretics with the Doom Blast and sees them off the field. These guys don't have an aspiring champion yet. And there's a rod of warp fire. Seem to do a decent chunk of damage on those retreating fellas there. Demonic shield goes up as well. Those guys back away to try and negate that shield. Trying to drag those guys forward. Meanwhile, power being stolen. Venom brood still with their venom cannons. And now a warrior brood on the way get some melee synapse going, I suppose. But they've only got a single Hormagaunt Brood now. It still might be worth doing. Tyrant Guard has healed up. These guys are bashing power now. Looks like Headcrab doesn't want to take them on head on. Instead they go mid to try and get some capping done. Chaos Lord is here with Lightning Claws, Harness of Rage, and the Dark Halo. He's been busy getting some war gear, isn't he? There's tier 3 for Headcrab. They might be looking to drop in a Lehman Russ, get some more red and do that. I think it's 300. Hormagaunt Brood trying to power bash. Oh, now we do have a full-on melee Ravna Brood, so melee Synapse makes much more sense now. Here it is. Buffing two squads instead of just one. How are they going to do here? Mark of Corn CSM, Raptors, Mark of Zinc CSM. Oh, there's Bloodlust. Well played. The Chaos Lord popping Bloodlust at a good time. That's a global buff from the Chaos Lord. I don't see it that often, although it seems really good. Basically, it, basically it buffs all of your infantry to do to get a stacking buffs as they land attacks. You get more of a buff for melee attacks, but you still get buffs for ranged attacks. And they'll do, like, do more and more damage. So it's really good for a pitched battle like that would have been. And uh, as you saw, Man of Faith didn't like it. Headcrabs down to a single Stormtrooper squad. Lots of death around here. Tyrant Guard in Sealed Wall. Tyrant Guard gets vehicle armor and had health regen when this is happening. Demonic Shield is thrown up. They can't seem to get through this guy. They've only got power weapons, of course, not heavy melee weapons. CSM I was going to say the CSM taking zero damage but I think they were all shooting at the sorcerer is why Lehman Russ is in was it called in? not sure I don't think it was actually 274 to 212 triple cap all of a sudden for the blue chaos fellas and a chaos dreadnought hits the field too Melee Raveners, what level are you? Still level 1. Gives them more speed as well. More health, more melee damage. The Hive Tyrant with a bonded exoskeleton is going to help with capping. Dreadnought making its way to the mid. 
Lehman Russ with no upgrade yet. Headcrab is trying to recover. That's all they've got on the field right now. Getting some guardsmen that can repair it. Yeah, you see the, the stormtroopers died all the way back here. I wonder if that was a Dark Flames or a Doom Bolts or something I got them. Probably something cool that I missed. 274 to 163. Tank says hello. Those guys can't do much about it. So they leave. Derek and Nigel are present and correct, and the Lord General is going for that central VP. Hive Tyrant, still level 1, but a level, almost level 3 Chaos Lord, level 6 Sorcerer, and an almost level 3 Lord General. Some Zinchian worship to infiltrate these fellas. Surprise party now. Warp Fire sets up the Lord General kill. Down he goes. Nima Russ getting some decent shots, and here come the Tyranids. But they are met by a bunch of Chaos stuff, including a decked out Chaos Lord. Venom Brood getting destroyed. Warrior Brood getting destroyed. Yep, they wipe. That might be GG. 274 to 149 on the VPs. Bonded Exoskeleton gets used, the invulnerability, but can't do much with it. Raptors on retreat path. Can't quite finish off Manuel. They jump again. Almost got him down there. <coughs> My voice getting very croaky. Sorcerer. Tracking around some guardsmen in melee. What is the melee damage on this thing? 50 melee DPS, eh? I mean, it's more than... The Force Commander's the Fort Chainsword. Can the Demon Russ get him to fall over dead? Just as planned. There it down he goes. Markov Pawn CSM. Oh, they're level 4, so they are going to threaten that tank a bit with Melter Pistol shots. In the new updates, the Melter Pistol got buffed, I think. And yes, I'm still on 2991. Because I've got a bunch of replays, damn it. But I will be moving on soon. 274 to 141, 2 to 1 cap for the blue team. Land Raider Phobos on the field. Head Crab gets some Kasukin. The Tyrant Guard is still alive. In amongst the Raptors. We can try and mince them quite effectively, actually. Mark of Corn CSM now fighting it. Not a great fight for them because of that splash damage that the Tyrant Guard does. There's Bloodlust again. And the Tyrant Guard runs away from the Marco Zinch guys. Was the power bashed? The power has been bashed at some point. Bit of a weird build from Man of Faith, actually. The Venom Brood kept the um, the Venom Cannons all this time. I mean, now it's useful because the Chaos Dreadnought was up. But it was weird. Maybe they intend... Well, obviously they didn't want the one of the Ravener Broods to die. Maybe they wanted to get ranged synapse and have the double raveners shooting at stuff effectively, but then they lost one and decided to go melee synapse. Here's another warrior brute. The hive tyrant has crushing claws now. They're going to be much bigger threat to those melee squads, the raptors and the CSM. One to one cap. Cheeky decap there by Derek, Nigel, and the Lord General. Don't go for the cap though. And here's the Kasukin with plasma guns. Some good DPS, but they're going to get jumped. Demon Russ is a vanquisher now. Getting some big shots in. Here comes Manuel, the Hive Tyrant. Tyrant Guard going in as well. Rocket run. It's a creeping barrage, not a rocket run. Still effective. Down goes the Dreadnought. Phobos shows up. Oh, might be able to get some rear armor hits on the Lehman Russ here. Big rear armor hits. They're trying to repair it. I think the Sorcerer used Warp to get the Phobos into position there. And the Lehman Russ is going to go down. Down it goes. Very tricksy play by the Sorcerer. Level 8. Tyrant Guard goes into Shield Wall again. There's still some Tyranids here. Although Manuel had to leave the field. Oh, can they kill those raptors? I think they did. Raptors down. 
Chaos Lord still fully full health here. Level 3. I'm going to try and mince those Raveners with the Lightning Claws. I'll get them knocked off the cap with Kill the Weak. Another Lehman Russ is here. And down goes the Phobos. They got it. With Melter Guns and, and such. Kasakin didn't reinforce though. Genes did a brood on the field now for Man of Faith. It's not. It's certainly not over. They've got a bunch of VPs to make up. Chaos Lord gets some CSM Zero Cry with another Land Raider Phobos on the way. Raffiner Brood in retreat path. Get some kills. Get some really good kills. Yep, the Tyranid attack. Lord the General on the cap. Demon Russ will try and power bash. Raveners aren't going to help though. Gets the node down. What is this? That's a Chaos Lord fighting a Hive Tyrant. Crushing Claws and Bonded Exoskeleton against Lightning Claws and Dark Halo. And Harness of Rage, of course. Which gives energy back. But the Chaos Lord runs. Hive Tyrant hits level 4 all of a sudden. Where's those Gene Sealers at? Oh, they're being sneaky looking after the VP because they get infiltrated if they're left idle. And they're very powerful in melee. They're a pretty good solo squad because of their healing on hit and their adrenal rush, which makes that even more effective. Chaos Lord goes down. Sorry. Chaos Sorcerer goes down. Trying something sneaky. Not sure why these fellas are still chasing. Oh, that's what they're trying. The Phobos being used to get to the front with warp. Dark flames chucked in. It's gonna kill those yeah, kills those heavy weapon squad guys. They still have a Lehman Russell at where is it? Oh it kind of escaped. Does have the bank for sure. Oh Venom Brood getting shots in now. That's some good DPS. The Kasakin Gant can switch to a melter guns, but they haven't done so. Lord General's there though. Some melter guns of his own. There's the Dirge Caster. Area of effect stun and the damage debuff for everything that got hit. Here comes a Tyrant Guard. It's a new one. Hive Tyrant goes down 250 to 54. Plague Marines on the way for the Chaos Lord. Should be able to revive the Hive Tyrant there, I think. Lord General. Yep. Got a chunk of XP for it. Current Guard goes straight after it. Soaking up a bunch of damage. Can they follow it in and support though? Hive Tyrant is back to their feet. And goes to the VP. Throws up the invulnerability to get the decap. Bobos took a bunch of damage there. Here come more Tyranids. Where's the Venom Brood? Did they have to run? Oh, they had to run. And so does Manuel, the Hive Tyrant, right now. Genesis, the Brood, all in amongst them. Marco Zincius, and it's a bad fight for them, but there are Bloodletters there. Bloodletters have very high power melee DPS, which is bad news for the Warrior Brood. They're only level 1, though, at the moment. And the Genesis is there to help, and Bloodletters are getting torn apart. Oh, I think there was those were, um, yeah, those were just temporary blood letters from from the blood sacrifice. Go go, Ravna Brood, getting some good kills, but can they escape? Looks like they can. Level four Ravna's getting some work done, eh? Plasma Kasakin is showing up again, and they can fast cap. They're on the VP. Lord General is down. Sorcerer still down over there, leveling up. Le level nine on the floor there. Phobos, can you repair it, fellas? Oh, they're just worshipping it, I think, at the moment. More efficient to repair it, I believe. Not sure, though. I think it is. Heavy turret. Ooh, that was a nice little grenade from the Kashikin. CSM trying to take it out. Now the Chaos Lord trying to take it out. As I said, though, it does have vehicle armor. It's a hard place to spot there, isn't it? Depending on where your camera is. Manuel chases off some CSM. Level 4. Venom Brood show up. The Phobos is quite low, but it is being infiltrated right now. There it is. Damage opens up on it. 
Down it goes. 2 3 7 to 39. Can the red team do this? Now we have some actual permanent blood letters on the way for the Chaos Lords. Still in, still in tier 2, but so is Man of Faith. Now has double gene stealers. Looks like some fellas here tried to grab the VP and got killed. Maybe they got away though. The one to one cap. There's the two to one for red. Have just under 200 VPs to make up though. Blake Marine's trying to cap stuff. Bloodlet is yelling as they come onto the field. And there's some heretics for worship support for the Chaos Lord on the way. Shiro Cry does still have some heretics as well. Getting aspiring champion. Lehman Rust level 3 did huge amounts of work there. Head crab waiting. Requisition for to get the second Lehman Rust, I think. Uh oh. M Imperial Abyss from Zero Cry. Hits the Tyranids quite hard, I think. Though. Oh, the Warrior Brood made it out, though. Looks like it wiped out one of the Gene Stealer Broods, maybe. Oh, I think they were wiped out down here, actually. Yes. Gene Stealers down here got wiped out. The full army against them, and there's a Corn Shrine that's going to spawn blood letters. Manuel having a word with some CSM. Keeping them in hell away from the VP. Double cap for red team at the moment. Wait, there might be a 2 to 1 against them though soon. I think blue team are going to get both of the naturals. Who is this? Oh, that's a Ravener Brood. Being all sneaky like. Burrow striking in. And they'll tear apart that sorcerer and he can't teleport away. Oh, does have time of subjugation though. So could do that. There's some warp fire. That did some good damage and a special attack. Look at him go. I thought we were just going to get ganked. Ravenous retreat. Flank here from the Chaos Lord. Having to reposition his head crab. Markov calls CSM on the turret again. Guardsman having to flee. Lima Russ is level 4. King still is getting some nibbles alongside the Hormagaunts. Big retreat over there. But the turret did fall. Here's the second Lehman Russ. But all they have are Lehman Russ and Kashikin now. And those Kashikin are super low. Trying to keep them in play. Here comes a bunker. Chaos Lord trying to decap with shield up but taking huge amounts of damage. Does get the decap. Then goes down. Looks like Man of Faith is back on that cap again. 165 to 27. Single here for blue team. Oh, they're capping the south as well. Oh, no, they're not. Plague Marines are going to do it now, though. Two shrines there. Hive Tyrant gets level 7. How did they get three levels so quickly? They cap the mid. 16519. Are they keeping something up here now? The heretics, maybe? Might be what they're doing. Could see the Ravenous. Yep, Ravenous on their way. They're burrowed like that, so they are infiltrated, which is maybe why the heretics are up there with an aspiring champion, but they're going to lose it. Maybe. Two to one, down to nine VPs. Not sure what these heretics are trying to do here. Maybe they thought the game was over. And maybe it is. There's the one to one, though. CSM run. Almost wiped. A really strange fight to take there from Zero Cry, unless they thought the game was just over. Another big flank from the Chaos Lord kills a Lehman Russ. How did they kill a Lehman Russ? The Plague Marines are all the way back here. Maybe the Plague Marines got a few shots and then the CSM chased them in. Manuel, the Hive Tyrant, runs away. Rude nest up in the mid now. These guys can reinforce off it once it's finished. Get a bit of health regen too. There it is. Warrior Brute can reinforce. Chaos Lord shows up. Down to three VP still. Head Crab now with some more Kasukin on the way. 
I see one squad going north to try and get that VP back. Not sure what it is. It's a Markov Korn CSM. They're not fully healed up, though. They're probably level 4, right? Yeah. But so are the Raveners up there. And those Raveners are fully healed. So I assume the Raveners win that fight. Got to borrow strike them. Oh, they waited too long. It's decapped. I'm sure they're busy watching the mid, Man of Faith. There's the game. Blue team have it with a single. And they could have stopped that decap here. If they were watching, they could have stopped that decap. And that might have made all the difference. Although, no, it still would have been a single. Because they lost the mid as well. No, it would have been a one-to-one -one cap. Yeah, it would have been one-to-one. -one. I guess it depends on whether they could get the mid back. It looks like maybe they would have. But then could they have held on for 139 more VPs difficult to say Chaos Lord is level 6 had his claws rending things apart level 10 Chaos Sorcerer did some good warp shenanigans with the Phobos level 7 Hive Tyrant and a level 9 Lord General at the end thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time